Hey everyone, Gameface here, and it's time for another episode of No Limits 2 Workshop Creations. And uh, yeah, um, the workshop, it, it, lots of stuff to choose from. Um, I, I had no problem picking my tracks, no problem at all. I don't know how good they are. Let's hope I do better than the last time. Because last time there were some, there were a couple of, well, there were some awesome ones, and then there were some not so awesome ones. Let's hope we got awesome ones all through this time. Let's check it out. Today's first ride is called Starburst. We'll see. We'll see if it's as good as, star as a star bursting. Whoa! I like that. I like that. That's awesome. That was that was quite the starburst. Already, I can tell this is this is a good track. Oh yes, lots of lots of diversity. I, you know, there's no big loops or anything, but that's not the point. Of course, the point is to feel the motion, to feel the movement. And this one, you can feel the movement. You can feel the motion. You can feel like you'd be pulled to one side there. It's not, there's no jolting, there's, yeah. Quite a pleasing ride. I noticed that, uh, like, the seems to do something on the corners there that might compensate for the jolt, the possible jolting you sometimes feel. And it's a pretty long track, too. This isn't exactly short, but here, here we go. It, it's coming too close. I really like that. That was really well done. And I'm going into this crazy pyramid here in the middle. Awesome track. This track is called The Defiler. And it has 20 inversions. Count them with me. We'll count them. One. No, we won't be able to count them. I won't. I don't think we'll count them. We'll try. We might try. Um, but there was a track last time that had 20 inversions. And it was pretty well done. It was pretty consistent from beginning to end. And... I don't know. We'll see. Was that did that first inversion really even count? Have we really even started the ride yet? Isn't this where we're launching from right here? I don't know. I don't know. It's a little sketchy. Um, I'm kidding, of course. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Is that two? Three? Four? This is awesome. Good track too. Uh, wow, it's just like fucking so interweaved, like <laughs> interwoven, interwedded, six. S seven, is that seven? I don't know, like I said, it's gonna be hard to count. Eight. Nine, I it's just amazing that you can get that many ten uh, um, inversions out of the, the little energy that was put in, oh, okay. So there we go. We're half done, and they're they're going to add more energy to the system. They're going to pull us back up to the top and let us go again to do another 10 inversions. And that's how they'll get it done. That's how they're doing it. Okay. There's one. And there's another. That would be two. Three. It's like we're counting for some contest or something. Maybe it was for some contest. That's not an inversion. Five. Six. Wow. Was that seven? Eight. Maybe that wasn't seven. Eight, nine. Eight or nine. Or 10. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> there was 20. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they got it right. Um, awesome track, though. Really didn't let up anywhere. It just kept going and going. And I see how they did it. Is the ba They basically had higher loops and then went down a little further into the ground and had lower loops. And that allowed them to basically have two levels of energy on each, each time they brought us up. Which was pretty cool. Well done. Awesome. This track is called... 
Midnight Madness. And it looked pretty cool. Um, it looked really cool. And there were other tracks, there were a whole bunch of tracks put out by this author. And I, I grabbed two of them, but i am probably only put one of them in this episode. We'll see, we'll see. Um, they all look, they, they look reasonably good from the thumbnails, of course, because that's all I have to judge by when I start this. Whoa! Wow. Roller coasters at night must be pretty awesome. You know, with the whole park down below, with all the lights. Oh, they're just hanging me upside down. They're hanging me upside down. Yeah, yeah. Lost all my change. Wow, it's like a huge, complex track, but... Like, I'm wondering... It hasn't... It's, it's like it's driving me around right now. It's not like a thrill. It's not a thrill ride. Maybe the thrill is about to begin. The thr I have to admit, the first drop was awesome. Maybe it's just a bunch of... a series of first drops. Which would be, well, kind of crazy. Is this, is this where the Rubble Coaster begins? Okay, a little bit of a thrill. There we go, I think. I think we got it. I think we got it. Wow. Not too bad. Not too bad in the second half. I'm gonna call it the second half because again, it pulled me up again. On a, it added more energy to the system. Loaded it up and fired me off. Ah. It's quick now too. It's actually quite fast. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I, I really do feel upside down. Oh. Well, that's a weird place to just leave me hanging. They stop it and 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 when you're upside down, and then they use a chain to pull you up and over the top again. <laughs> that is cool. The mechanism, the idea is cool. I don't know how it really, you know, it's not a thrill or anything. But yeah, it's, it's not a bad track at all. The ride is pretty good. Nothing, nothing with it would hurt you. Oh, that's kind of awesome. Like a spiral right through the middle. And it's long, it's like, wow. Well, as you know, if you've watched this far, it's definitely a long track. And there we go, that finishes it up. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. This track is called Speed Rush. And off we go. It's gonna be short. Whoa, 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 almost stopped. Whoa, whoa, rolling over the corner. You couldn't see what was gonna happen until you went around the corner. That was kinda of cool. Maybe it isn't that short. than I thought. And it's not bad. It's a very realistic coaster, I'd say. And actually, it feels... It, <laughs> it, it, when you look at it, then now seeing it all, or riding it, it seems like more than what you see. You know what I mean? It's like it's longer than it looks. It's not bad at all. That was actually a really nice track. And maybe it's the background, because as you know, I, I I find these these so stylish and just the because I, yeah I can go on. No, I'm just gonna shut up about it. This next track, or these next tracks, I should say, are the dueling dragons, and and you can see our our, our, our I'm gonna I'm gonna move the camera. Oh, I can't see it. That red thing? That's our dueling partner. We're gonna be dueling him. Um, I don't know why. I um, so there's two tracks in this. It's not really a park, because I normally don't do parks. Um, I, I don't know why. I should probably add some parks to my repertoire of, of No Limits 2, because there are other things you can do in No Limits 2. Uh, but I generally just choose tracks. 
And if there's a park that has only one track in it, I'll sometimes I'll do that. But in this case, we've got a track that has two tracks in it. So it's like a park. I don't know. I don't know. But it's called the Dueling Dragons. And here we go on the Purple Dragon. I think it's a Purple Dragon. It could be a Blue Dragon. It could be a Blue Dragon. I don't know. Again, it's a hanging coaster. So I'm below the track. And yeah, there's a lot of nice movement near the ground that gives you a good sense of motion. And again, the, the supports, moving by the, a lot of the supports, all that interweaving is, is pretty good. The sense of, the feeling of motion, the movement that we, 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 that's what we ride in the limits too. Oh, there's our dueling partner. And there we go, we're coming back into the home stretch. Not bad. I cannot complain about Blue Track. Blue Track was a good track. But let's, shall we? Shall we go over to the red track after this and see what it's all about? See what it's all about. I can see it there. I'll meet you over there. Okay, here we go. This, the red track. Welcome to the red track. Where we duel the blue track. Where we are dragons. I don't know, I don't know, it doesn't make sense. Why, why are there pieces of track in the warehouse? It looks like a warehouse. I don't know. Again. But, let's see what this side is like. I don't think it's much different than the other side. Roughly the same length. The trains left and arrived at the same time. But it doesn't mean they're the same length. Well, I guess it does, yeah. Uh, I guess it's a balance between friction and... I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to think about that. The chances are, if the trains are arriving and leaving at the same time, they're the same length. Sorry, brain's going a million miles an hour now. I shouldn't have thought about that. But again, hanging coaster. So, a lot of the feeling of motion relies upon there being something else in my field of view, at least for me. For some reason, a track being right above my head doesn't seem to do it. But this is doing it. This is definitely doing it. I like this. Especially like the straight bits. That, you know, it, it straightens out and goes across the water. Like right here. Believe it or not, that seems to add to the ride for me. It's not all just all going all over the place. There we go. There we go. We made it all the way back. We dueled our, our, our blue dragon friend. And I think we tied, again. I think we both made it to the exact same place at the exact same time. We will see. They should be right there. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, no, he beat me. He made, he made it there just before I did. So that's Dueling Dragons. So there we go. That was six tracks. All of them were really good. Um, I, I can't, I, I, I'm pretty sure. Um, though, really one of them, two of them were one track. Yeah, we'll, we'll say that. We'll, we'll call it Dueling Dragon Blue and Dueling Dragon Red. Or is it Dueling Dragon Purple and du du Dueling Drag Dragon Pink? I don't know. I don't know. Um, the, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, yes, but good tracks. Um, definitely better overall than last time. And, and just as good as, it's the back to the norm of the level of quality of tracks and I, I'm glad to see that um, I've already got two tracks for next time um, lined up and if anybody else has any tracks just put them in the comments and I will see if I can get them into the episode so until next time I'm Gameface this was No Limits to Workshop Creations if you liked it click the button and don't forget to subscribe I'd like to thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time Let's <laughs> go.